18 years, 18 years have passed and I've realized that what I value the most is memories because memories hold stories and stories hold lessons to who a person is and everything they've been through and memories make you who you are as a person. Many things that have also come through and passed through your life like people, places, and just anything to alter and affect who you are. This is why I look to memories and why I value them the most. My name is Rushendale Mikalema Ballot Corpus or Mishka and I'll be celebrating my 18th birthday. Si Mishka was born in 2004 sa isang hospital in Cabanatuan and actually that time wala yung dad niya yung dad niya nasa work bibiyahe pa sa ibang probinsya na assign and then that day na manganganak ako sa kanya wala yung dad niya so, hindi ko naman inexpect na manganganak ako parang siguro yun na yung time so tinawagan namin yung dad niya dumating siya madaling araw Nung nasa kabanatuan kami, napunta kami sa uh, government hospital na hindi naman talaga ako doon nagpapacheck up kasi hindi yan yung schedule ng panganganak ko dapat. Kaya wala yung doktor niya nasa US. Sabi nila, nung lumabas daw siya ang pinakamaingay sa hospital na batang makapal ang buhok. Doon na nag-start na lumabas na rin ang, ang kaisa-isang babae na anak namin na tagal namin inantay, four years. My childhood before moving to Canada is very distant because I was just very young and I remember some memories like for example bribing kids with my mom's food that she was selling so they would stay and play with me longer. Um, I would remember riding on my dad's shoulders as a kid and always just trying to run away, trying to cross the road without looking as a kid. Then moving to Canada, I remember stepping out of the plane and just saying hi to everybody. My parents told me that I would say hi to everybody that I would see and just smile at them. With my dad and mom always correcting my brother and I's behavior, even though it might have been a little harsh sometimes, it was all with good intentions as they just wanted us to grow up and be able to take care of each other and ourselves and live a good, happy life and be content with whatever we are, whoever we are when we grow up. Mishka is a uh, she's sweet little girl and Anisha, she's so friendly. Yeah, I remember she was growing in the Philippines Gusto niya lagi kalaro yung mga cousins niya. And then just to keep them playing with her, there were times na she's giving out food and candy, stay with me, play with me, something like that. She's so friendly and until now you can see she has friends everywhere. So she likes drawing, she's always on my lap when she was growing, when we were with other friends. She used to be active in school but as she grows up, medyo siyempre, like exposed to my computer and this <laughs> playful. I guess you know, you know generation na ngayon eh. When she was growing, I loved to bring the everybody fishing. So she's always coming with me fishing and nowadays she doesn't want to go fishing. She has her own <laughs> she has her own uh, life now so she likes to do like mechanic stuff too. Whenever I'm fixing the vehicle, she wants to learn it but I don't really encourage her to do it because she was still young. I don't want her to get hurt. So, you know, but she's interested to do or to learn mechanic stuff because she said, I, I want to learn it. Well, I always wanted the best for her. You know, I hope she uh, achieved all her dreams, uh, fulfill it with the greatest potential, something like that. And I just wanted uh, to tell her that whatever the journey of life takes her, her mom and I are always here to support her. I know that she has lots in mind. As a young adult, she want to try this and that, but I always tell her, you know, you have, you, you have to be smart all the time. Always pick the right, right choices.
So some of my hobbies include playing the flute, which I actually started playing in grade 6 in my elementary school. And even though I've stopped playing, music not only contributes to my life, but it also impacts it in a way where if I'm feeling very sad or mad or frustrated or anything, it can like just help me calm down and just drown out the world and the noise all around me and it helps me like focus and just relax and I do play my flute still sometimes and it just helps me focus my emotion into what I'm listening to or into what I'm playing and it just lifts my mood. My other hobbies include drawing and painting because like I said it also like helps me just like drown out the world and like I'll listen to music while painting and just paint whatever comes to mind. Another hobby I like is just like taking pictures, like I said, with memories. Um, it just helps me hold on to those because even though it may have been like a bad memory or a happy one, it like helps me realize everything I've been through, whether it be happy or sad. I can look back to it and I can either learn a lesson or just remember the moments that have happened with me, family, friends, just anyone, anything in general, I can look back and just say, wow, like I've been through that and I'm still here. The people that are most special to me not only include my parents because they have been kind of like my idol throughout my life as they've always been there for me, good and bad ways. They've been there to teach me what they have learned and to give me the knowledge that they have others would just be my closest family members would also be my tita even though we don't get along well i still care about her even though we always argue and fight like siblings others that have significantly impacted my life would be my closest friends they've all just like impacted me in a way where they would be there for me when i genuinely think that no one else is and where they would take me out of a bad spot and just help me through it even if they can't change what is happening they will be there to listen and just help me release everything that's going on and they would help me get through it the celebration of my 18th birthday is coming up and what i'm really looking forward to is that everyone has fun and for those who haven't experienced what a debut is, I'd like them to have a great first time and also realize why the people I chose are there and for them to just have another memory to look back to in the future. We always fight, but you know I love you. I love you the most and I want the best for you. Yeah. I choose this gift for you to write your memories, a book of memories of you with a family and friends. Go out there and explore the world, create mem memories and just stay kind, be humble and always be happy. I love you always. Happy birthday. Hi Mitska, happy birthday. Um, all the best wishes for you, your 8th and birthday. Have fun. Always smile. I have a bag for you. Put all the, all your memories, and I love you and happy birthday. That's it. So no more bickering with Miles. You have outgrown them. Look at this crowd. Standing room, ah, huh? standing room. These people are here because you have a special place in their heart, and they will be supporting you. So don't be afraid to go on in this journey called life. Brave on! Happy birthday! So anyhow, I'm giving you a passport because I would love for you to travel. No, passport holder. Not the passport. <laughs> Oops! I'm not a government of Canada, therefore I won't be able to give that to you. Although I work for Health Canada, I won't be able to give you a passport. But this is a passport holder because I would love for you to travel the world before you settle down. And for you all young people, the best 
that you can do in life is really to venture out there before you settle down. As Mark Twain said, you know, there's nothing like traveling to, to essentially break down all the prejudices, ignorance, and we all can appreciate that. This is the most uh, precious treasure I can give you. And uh, please bring this one wherever you go because uh, you know that uh, we're always here for you. Whatever you do, wherever you go, we're always there for you. I love you, Anna. Happy birthday. This uh, 17 wonderful friends. I would like to propose a toast. Oh, good looking friends. Sorry. I would like to propose a toast for 18 uh, wonderful years of my daughter. Happy birthday, Anat. I love you. And all of you, too. Yeah.